to help me with today's exam, please welcome our new nightly show optics expert, real life eye surgeon and Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the show, Rand. Have a seat. Thanks, uh, thanks for taking the time to be on uh, uh, our, being our nightly show optics expert. Okay, so, uh, I mean, I assumed you'd be too busy with the presidential debates. And I'm gonna be like a correspondent, right? Uh, Larry, you're breaking up a little bit. No, no, you, no, you're no? sitting right here. Oh, I'm right, oh, I'm right here yeah, being the, okay. Exactly. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> so now as an eye surgeon, uh, uh, what's your take on Donald Trump? Well, you know, Larry, I, have you ever had a speck of dirt fly into your eye? Yeah, I mean, that's really annoying. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. annoying, irritating, might even make you cry. <laughs> sure, sure, I'm with you. But if the dirt doesn't go away, mm -hmm. it'll keep scratching away at uh. your cornea until it eventually blinds you with all its filth, and then it makes fun of you on CNN. <laughs> I think you got a little personal in there. Uh, I got it. So you're saying that I is a conservative voter and Donald Trump is the speck of dirt, right? No, Larry. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is a delusional narcissist and an orange-faced windbag. Wow. Okay. A speck of dirt is way more qualified to be president. Well said. Our new correspondent, Rand Paul, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. You're breaking up a bit. No, there. you don't have to do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> thanks for having fun with us. Do you have time to answer a couple of questions, actually? That, if, that oh, was very good. Do you have fun doing easy that? Easy questions? Very easy all questions. Right, right. Uh, this is very easy. Why are you running in the Republican Party? I don't understand <laughs> that. I mean, you're pro-weed. Uh, you're like... No, no, no. I'm just not anti -weed. No, you're pro-weed. No, no, no. I'm just you're, not no, anti-weed. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. Whatever you, you say. You help people with their glaucoma. You're pro weed, right? <laughs> okay. Anti prison industrial complex. You've talked uh, very eloquently about prison reform. Is there like a middle ground of people well, that you're looking for that aren't Republican, aren't Democrat? Are there people in there, like huge? There, there are people from both uh, sides that we're trying to get. Okay. From the right, there are people who believe in economic liberty. Mm -hmm. From the left, there are people who believe in personal liberty, and really what we're trying to do is join liberty together to say, you know what, across the board, government ought to stay out of your life. Uh -huh. Jeb Bush said he'd go back in time and kill baby Hitler, okay? Um, would you go back in time and stop baby Trump from being born? <laughs> you know, I'm not sure I would say that Trump is Hitler. Goebbels, I'm not maybe. saying that. Goebbels, maybe, but I'm not saying Hitler. I'm not going Really? There. So you're really, you're going there then? No, no, no. I've said he wasn't. No, you no, you no, no. I, I, I steadfastly said he was not Hitler, but maybe Goebbels. But I have seriously compared him to Gollum from The Lord of the Rings. Yes, I understand where Gollum is from. You know, <laughs> my precious, yes. you know, the ring, the ring That's of power. That's very scary what you just did. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but... What, I'm, what I've been trying to tell people yes. is what worries me most about Trump, other than all the other is crazy that? things, is that I believe that he wants power, and I believe, from my point of view, that power mm -hmm. corrupts, and that the whole purpose of our founding fathers and our country was to contain power. The Constitution was to restrain the size of government mm -hmm. and keep power at a minimum, and I don't want power to gravitate to a Republican or a Democrat. Yeah, go ahead. You are certainly your own candidate. You don't, you don't seem to follow any side. You follow your own path, and I think that's really something. All right, are you ready to play uh, Keep It 100, to answer Keep It 100 on question? You hear that? Okay. Was I really uh, good at this yes. game? No, you have to do this. Okay. You have to keep your answer 100% real. Ready? Okay. Other than Donald Trump, you can't mention Trump, okay? Who is the biggest dick of all the GOP candidates right now? <laughs> and I know you have an answer. Mm -hmm. Larry, I think you're breaking up here. Yeah. Um, can you uh, help us? Uh... Who is it? Come on. <laughs> Who is it? You know, just say Ted Cruz. Before, just say you know, it. He's the biggest tool, right? Just say Ted Cruz is a tool, Larry. Yeah. Just say that. See, before we came on here. Just say Ted Cruz is a tool, please. Mm -hmm. Just say it. Just say it, Larry. Just before say it. Before we came on here. Say it. Just say Ted Cruz is a tool. Yeah. Rand Paul, everybody. That's all we got.